Hello there, neighborhood mystics. I'm here at the Cibolo Nature Center today on Saturday, February 18th, 2017. I was down by Cibolo Creek, but as you might imagine, there's too many people passing through down there, so I moved up to higher ground to film this uh, video. And what I wanted to talk to you today about, about was intuition. I watched a documentary on Netflix last night called, and it, the word is in Icelandic, so I'm going to hold it up for you so you can, in, in say, I don't know, I watched the video, the woman said the, that word, but I still don't know how to say it, so that's the name of the video on Netflix. Um, what was eye-opening for me about this video was, um, the way they talked about intuition. So a lot of us, myself included, tend to d discount intuition. Like even though I'm a practitioner of, a, of intuitive arts, you know, using tarot and astrology, although astrology is more technical than tarot is, um, you know, I, it's like I was discounting it. I, I was like, well, that's kind of a something that's off over there and, um, you know, you know what I mean? It's not that important. It's, uh, it may not even be real sometimes. I kind of think, like I said, even though I myself use it, I, I still fall victim um, to that kind of thinking. And in this documentary, this woman explained that that word that I showed you earlier means to see within, to see from the inside out, and it also means the C within, as in S-E-A-C, within. So we'll start with that. Um, some of the things that came up in the movie were uh, the deep connection with intuition and nature. So that was another thing that, once again, I fall victim to discounting connecting with nature like the last several week, weekly tarot videos if you've noticed um, they're uh, you know they're like um, what's the word I want like slideshow videos because I was just too busy and too caught up to take time to go somewhere outside and film the video so like the best I could do would be put some nature pictures in the video but that I mean that was it um, so there was one man in the video who was uh I would consider that person as being enlightened or having a high degree of enlightenment because you could see it in his eyes. But he was saying nature is a witness to intuition. Uh, so I found that very interesting because it's like we can experience intuition through nature. And nature, he's saying nature is a witness to this intuition, which is... Uh, it's, it's all around us. Um, also in the, in the video, they, you know, they were talking about how when you are using your intuition, and they can map this now with brain scans and stuff, you're using your whole brain. When you're being logical and analytical and, you know, trying to decide things and, and working in a, in a linear fashion and looking for the answer and all that kind of stuff, you're using like like two, it's like less than 2% of your brain. You're using a very tiny part of your brain. And we in Western culture and in modern culture have moved so far into that part of our brain and we don't use the rest of our brain, which corresponds, you know, which uses the right hemisphere, which uses int intuition, which uses big picture thinking, which makes connections, all that kind of stuff. So we end up being very disconnected. We're very disconnected from nature. We're very disconnected from each other. We're very disconnected from our purpose. It's like we really don't know what the bleep is going on. <laughs> you know, I mean, and you see it on a, on a daily basis. Um, so going more about this, this whole brained intuition and how it works is, uh, you know, nature as witnessed intuition. Nature is, uh, forms fractal patterns. So, you know, it's like, it's like, what is it, that phrase, to see the world in a grain of sand? It's like that, that grain of sand is repeated 
as building blocks and that's what builds our world or like the trees behind me here you know it's like their branches look a lot like their roots under the ground even though we don't see that or that branching powder pattern of their branches or their roots is it, a repetition of that same pattern over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again but it has a very organic flow to it it's not uh, it's not very rigid. It's not very rigid or or anything. It's not like it's kind of like the old the old video games where it was very blocky, but now they're more flowing. In fact, I saw something about that where this guy used fractal patterns to make kind of the first breakthrough in um, like video games and video an animations in terms of landscape, because he was like making mountains and they looked blocky and they looked retarded, but he took one one re repeti repeti re repeating pattern and applied it across the whole frame and what happens is is that the computer as you move through the scene creates the scene using that pattern and it was it looked it looked like actual real mountains so that you know it's kind of me going off on a tangent but not really because this is what we're talking about when we're talking about intuition and if you watch the movie she they lay it out very well um they also talked about how intuition encompasses past, present, and future. And they talked about how the Polynesians were able to, in essence, map the global seas and, and traverse the global seas by using intuition. And it's not intuition like, oh, I feel like there's an island over there. It was through this intense observation, using the whole brain and and there's a way that that intuition it accesses past knowledge and future knowledge at the same time, which they didn't really say it that way in the movie, but that's what I'm saying. That they were able to navigate the seas and know the island is there, not that somebody had something, some uh, spirit talking in their ear necessarily saying the island's over there. Um, so, you know, that's another thing. I guess about myself that I realized that I also discounted was is um, I've always been a, a, a very nature person. I've lived in rural areas. I used to work in range and wildlife management. See, and it's like even as I'm talking about it, I'm kind of like, well, uh, well, well, that's over there. Um, but I was out with my son last weekend. We went to a winery that was north of us and we took the back roads and we got lost and it was okay because we found our way out. And I figured we would because I was like, it, looking at the map, we should be able to go that way, but I'm not really sure how we would how how to get through. I wrote some quick notes, like we didn't use the GPS. I just wrote some quick notes about where we were supposed to turn, and we missed a turn off somewhere. But we made it there. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is I found myself um, reading the landscape because he was driving because he's getting his driving permit, or he has his driving permit, so he's getting his license soon. So he's driving, so I can look around. And we're on these real, I mean, really small, <laughs> like the road we were on. I was like, oh, I didn't realize it was going to be that much of a back road. But it was still paved, but it was really small. Anyway, I'm reading the landscape. I'm like, oh, my gosh, there's palmettos over there. Oh, look, at there's sotals against, like, seems like everybody has sotals against the hills. And um, um, just looking, I'm like, you can tell the water runs real fast through here because of the way the the... The streams are cut and you know just things like that and it's like I kind of noticed that about myself and you know I just it's like I said I just kind of came to the realization that maybe I shouldn't be discounting that like because it's like to me it's like well yeah sure or I do that but so what you know, you know what I mean um so anyway yeah so that kind that kind of thing came up in the video because you know, humanity as a whole is moving further and further away from that, that kind of knowledge. See, because, because that's the whole thing with the Polynesians is they were, they were able to access this, this wide network of information through their intuition. It, it wasn't, they didn't write, they had, you know what I mean? They had some kind of weird little stick things they put together that were kind of like maps, but they didn't write, they didn't have GPS, they didn't have all this stuff yet they were able to do these things. And so it's like we get further and further from that sort of knowledge um, that we, you know, 
all human beings can access. That's another thing that I wanted to bring up too, is people are like, when did you realize you had the gift? Now, maybe that's my interpretation of what they're saying, but I read that as like, what, you know, how, when did you realize you were special? Well, I don't feel like I'm special. And you'll hear a lot of intuitives say this because everybody's intuitive. So I'm not special. You know, I'm just, I'm trying to help you access your intuition, you know, because we all have it. And I've gone through, you know, several de decades of development of intuition. And, you know, I just want to let people know, hey, this is what I found out. This is what, I, you know, this is a cool way to do this. This is a way to check out that, you know, develop this part, that kind of thing. And, you know, and I'm, I'm always learning. Um, and then I guess I wanted to bring up this, uh, this whole thing with nature and intuition and fractals. That's, that points you at patterns. So when, when you practice intuitive arts, you become a pattern recognizing being. It's like you're looking for patterns all the time. And you're, you're, you're learning to read the patterns. So that's what I was saying. When I was reading the landscape, I was reading patterns in the landscape. So that's what you do when you're practicing intuition. Using cards or whatever it is that you have, auras, whatever, whatever you're using, you're, you're recognizing patterns. Um, and then I also think this whole thing about how uh, intuition is really an access, it, it's, it's being able to access a broader knowledge that's not, it's not just located with you. I think that's what I was trying to say with the past, present, future, and with connecting with other people. It's like you are, you're accessing a network, to use modern terms, of knowledge. So it's not, it's not sourced within you. It's sourced other places and you're able to tap into it. Um, and that kind of brings me to uh, occult knowledge. So occult knowledge is hidden knowledge. So when we talk about occult knowledge, that's what we're talking about. That, that word's been kind of bastardized, if you will, to mean something like not spiritual or evil, but it just means hidden. So that's kind of a doorway for you to go through. Just saying. A, that's a doorway. It's hidden. It's hidden knowledge. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what I wanted to... Uh, that's what I wanted to say about intuition and the movie. I'll show you the name of the movie again. That's the name of the movie on Netflix. Look it up. Uh, give me your thoughts on intuition. And I'll see you next time.